didn't bring anything, like anything at all, that I could pay for that food with. Like, didn't bring my phone, didn't bring a wallet. So I've just had to leave the shopping with Audi. Our chicken goes on top of that. We've done okay here. I mean, that's that's chicken right there. Hey Brenda, when hey, you're done, uh, I've got wine and chicken for you. White man's meal mm. for lunch, I'll be honest. I feel like a professional. All right, so um, I moved into this new house a little while ago. Oh, I didn't bring my sunglasses, that sucks. I moved into this new house a little while ago and I haven't had a housewarming yet. So uh, I've invited like 30-ish people over today and said, let's have a barbecue. And now I've just remembered that I need to cook a barbecue for like 30-ish people, but I'm not gonna do that. Everyone's gonna bring a little bit of their own, but I'm just gonna go to the shops. I'm gonna grab probably a chicken and some lamb and do a big roast, do some vegetables as well. Oh shit, look at this car. This car is absolutely falling to pieces. I've just gone to open the door and my fucking, this is, this has come out. Also, I don't know if you can hear this, but yeah, I think the seat has come untun from the ground. But anyway, we'll be all right. Um, time to head to the shops and grab some stuff to do a Sunday roast. Let's go. Uh, I think in probably Audi is where I'm gonna get the meat from, which I don't love, but at the same time, I'm fucking broke, dude. So, like, you gotta get cheap meat from somewhere. Mm. I don't think I'm gonna do pork. Um, yes, absolutely. Forget about it. Thank you for coming. Didn't bring anything, like anything at all, that I could pay for that food with. Like, didn't bring my phone, didn't bring a wallet. So I've just had to leave the shopping with Audi. I feel like a professional. All right, let's get a fucking phone out of here. Surely there'll be a phone in here. All right, back home it is. It sucks. Right, so back home, I think I know where I've left my phone, which is pretty fucking stupid. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. Uh, I've left my keys in my bike, in my phone, on my bike as well. I'm clearly very organized for this 20 person barbecue. Things are going swimmingly. Basket should be right where we left it, hopefully. Uh, this is what we ended up with. Got a roast chook that was on sale. We got a bit of roast lamb and then just, I don't know, whenever you're having a barbecue, it's good to have a bunch of cheap shit sausages. Some bread to go with it, some chips, and then just a couple of roast veggies. Uh, but I did tell people to bring salads, so hopefully they'll have the veggies colored. Now, I do have one more thing that I want to sort out before the barbecue starts up. And that is, I've only got one gas cylinder, so I'm gonna duck to the local hardware store, Bunnings, what we've got down here in Australia, buy a gas cylinder, because the last thing I want is to invite my father over for a barbecue and then have him be able to say, oh, I told you, you should have had a spare gas bottle. We're at the best store in the world, Bunnings Warehouse. Everything you could possibly ever want is in this place. Cheers, mate. No worries, have a good one. Appreciate it. So, some people would probably say that if you're about to go cook a barbecue for 20 people and you've just picked up a new gas cylinder from Bunnings, you probably don't need to then get a sausage from Bunnings, but those people are clowns and I don't listen to them. It's always good to know what the competition is you're up against. Beautiful, mate. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm. They do a good job though at Bunnings. It's a high bar to cross, let's see how we go. Welcome to my home barbecuing setup. Uh, this is my housemate's house that they own, but we've got a really nice setup for entertaining out here. So we've got our big flat top barbie here that we can do snags and whatnot on later on. So the cover just comes off, big flat top barbie. I've got my little Weber Q set up over here, which is where I'm gonna do the roasting. Just turn that on to get it up to temperature. This is our little bar uh, that we have sitting out the back, um, which will be good. And then through here in the garage, got a couple of couches, footy on the TV, bar fridge down here. And then all of that opens up into a backyard. So, I don't know. 
Could have me fooled, but I reckon that we could be in for a pretty nice day in the sun out here, eating some nice meat. I reckon the first one that we're going to do will be the chicken. Cook 60 minutes per kilogram. How much does this weigh? What? Oh shit. Ah, so apparently this chicken's going to take two hours to cook, so better get it on ASAP. <laughs> Uh, I've also got this thing which I'm going to use, which I really rate. This is called a meter. Uh, so this is a meat thermometer that you stick into the chicken or whatever meat you're using. Then it connects to your phone and tells you how long it's got to go to cook and all of that sort of jazz. So... Okay. So now what I do is I grab my phone and go to the meter app uh, no cook setup so we just go in here set up cook we'll go poultry chicken whole chicken we're doing it on a gas grill and we want it to be oh uh, we'll go with well done chicken um so start that cook so now the probes in and bang it in the uh weather and see how we go i've got this handy bag of tricks here for my barbecuing a little trivet, which is going to keep the uh, chicken just sitting off the really hot grill so that won't burn it. Great for roasting meats on a barbecue, highly recommend. Uh, I'm going to need one of these little drip trays. Um, I did, I have thoroughly cleaned this barbecue, so there is a chance that that's just going to go in there, catch all the juices, fat so it doesn't cause a mess. I have thoroughly cleaned this barbecue, so I could collect those juices and make a bit of gravy, which would be fun. And then this, get down there on there like that. This comes and sits on top. Our chicken goes on top of that. We turn that back down, turn that up to high. And we'll see that bird in a little while, eh? We got the chicken on, but now I'm thinking I probably need to cut up some veggies to put in the oven because otherwise Dad's gonna be like, you haven't put any vegetables on. This isn't a barbecue rice. There's no vegetables. So we're gonna chop them up now. So, mum and dad have turned up, um, and I'm gonna try and put these roast veggies on, but uh, I haven't really put anything like this in this barbecue before, so you're gonna see how we go fitting this in here. Hmm. I don't think there's any way we're getting veggies in there. <laughs> nah, I thought they might have fit in there. <laughs> No, nah, dad's a no, nah, dad's a bit of a uh, Weber guru, and he's just real. He's just seen me try and put these and a whole. B <laughs> what? What am I thinking? I'm thinking I might be able to squeeze them in on the side. I thought it might work. Only for two people. That's one, one, one half potato and a slice of pumpkin, and that's it. Why don't you put one in there with the chicken because the juice off it's really good. But don't expect to get any more with it. Yeah. No. yeah. No. All right, so we're going to the oven with those. 200 degrees. <laughs> 200 degrees for 40 minutes. We're going to the oven. <laughs> right, so a bit of a twist. Um, I ended up uh, getting drunk and having fun with my friends and forgetting to film basically any of the finished products. So uh, yeah, it's now Wednesday uh, and I've gone out and bought myself another chook. And uh, we're gonna do the old, instead of here's one I prepared earlier, it's gonna be here's one I prepared later. So you can see the finished results. It was bloody delicious. Um, but yeah, uh, it's a vlog that now lasts three days. Ready to see someone drop a chicken with one hand? Get out of it, Dotty. This isn't for you. So the bird's been on for about an hour and a half now. It's time to take it off the heat. Straight out of there. Right on there. Pretty okay. What do you think, Dottie? Any good? Yeah, you can't have any of that. I'm so sorry. We've done okay here. I mean, that's... That's chicken right there. Alrighty, so I've done a quick YouTube search on how to carve a chicken. I don't know if I understood it, but 
let's see. Two. Yeah. I've left a fair bit of meat on the bone here, but once this cools down, my favorite thing to do with a roast chicken is just come in here and pick all the little bits out. Let's see. Skin taste test. <laughs> Bloody delicious. Of course it is. It's chicken skin that's been well cooked. And you guys aren't going to eat the chicken that's up there. Are you, Brucey? No. No eating my chicken. You either, Dottie. No eating my chicken. So we're up at work. It's now Thursday. <laughs> this chicken just keeps on giving. Uh, gonna make the little chicken salad up for the boys, see what they think, pair it with some wines, and hopefully we like it. Alrighty, so uh, lunch is ready. I'm gonna go give this to Lockie or Brenda or whoever else is in the office. We've got some uh, River Sand Fiano. We've got the roast chicken and then just a nice little salad as well with some gravy and skin on the side because who likes being healthy all the time? Let's see how this goes. Hey Brenda, when you're done, uh, I've got wine and chicken for you. So uh, I want you to try it and tell me what you think. You got that? And I don't know what any of this stuff is, it's just... Uh, it's yeah. just roast chicken that I cooked for the family the other day. <laughs> um, it's got okay. some skins, it's got some gravy. Mm. Shit, that's good. Yeah. Can I have this for lunch? That's why I gave it to you. Oh, right. <laughs> I got more in the kitchen, not hate someone. You've also just finished eating lunch, Gemma. <laughs> Fiano? Fiano. Yeah, nice. River Sam? River Sam. River Sam. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean that's what I. This is exactly what I'll pair it with. Um, Beautiful. Uh, it's probably like the biggest white white man's meal mm. for lunch. I'll be honest. Yeah, it's deluxe oh. ha bachelor's handbag. Did you cook it, or is it genuinely a Coles rotisserie? No, no, no. I did cook this. <laughs> I have to admit, I reckon it's the avocado that's doing it for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And the chicken succulent is awesome. Well, I didn't grow the avocado, but I'm gonna take that as a win. Now I'm gonna go eat some lunch. <laughs> Well, that's a four day cook that's finally finished at lunchtime on a Thursday. Here we are. Hope you've enjoyed the ride. Uh, probably more of this vloggy style video coming your way. And if you want to come to dinner at my house, hit me up on Discord. Gonna be pretty selective with the guests though, just as a heads up.